Ah, welcome viewers to another episode of Let's Play Dark Sun Shattered Lands. Today we're in the upper castle, <laughs> uh, right outside the door of Tara. Tara. Thank goodness I have the clue book out so I could look and see her name. Because, uh, yeah, it's been around a week since I last played this. I kind of played a lot, got kind of excited about it, got a bit of a backlog, so I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. So, yeah, recently I've been playing... Uh, I picked up the Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection for PS3, and I've been playing that. So, yeah, I've been playing... Uh, Fantasy Star 2 on there. Nagi! You! Where is talismans? As if they will protect you from my power! It was I who killed Nagi! I who brushed aside his followers with no more than a thought! Now I will kill you as well! Yeah, I know, that wasn't much of a chick's voice, and she's supposed to be a chick. She's Tara. It's Tara Reed. Kill her! Uh, no offense, you know. I'm not one of those who has opinions on stars, for the most part. It seems a bit silly. Tara's laughter echoes emptily as she disappears. <laughs> I, I guess that's an empty laughter. And she disappears. And her followers, who look to be zombies, start closing in on us. Of course, they're guarding. Because why wouldn't they be? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so she just disappeared. Uh, at some point, you have to use the wind potion on her that we got from the wind master dude. But... You might have to beat her a couple times first. Is this... She's not in here. Um, we got this cabinet in here. And apparently there's like a red rain slicker and a blue backpack stuff. But in the usual fashion of RPGs, you can't do anything with it. It's not as bad as some old console RPGs. There'd always be stuff you're like, man, I don't want to look at anything. And some things like Dragon, some Dragon Warrior games, you could actually look in stuff. And so some some games you couldn't. That was kind of fun. Whatever. Anyway, so yeah, I've been playing Fantasy Star 2 and stuff. I don't know if I want to do an LP for that. And I guess if you guys want to see it, I might. But that just seems painful. Because I remember that with Bard's Tale. Like, you, not that they're similar, but a game, a console-style game with a lot of grinding is just a little painful to uh, LP. Uh, I know she's not dead, because we didn't use the potion on her. Oh, I thought that was supposed to hurt us or something. We went over. I think we might have an item now to help keep us from getting hurt. I don't know. Well, I'm confused. I am confused. Now, there's another location that you can go. Should be at downstairs, so maybe we should check that out. Um, just go to the map, man. Just go over here. This is the exit. Yeah, let's see. Ah. Yes, I would like to go downstairs, actually. We'll go do that, and in the meantime, I'm gonna, oh, that's brilliant. That worked out more or less. Just adjusted my map while it was loading. My, uh, yeah, I've got two versions of the PDF open on my somewhat large screen. So I guess we'll just save at this point. Something tells me I might want to. Uh, yeah, I got I got a version that I'm keeping the map up on, and I'm, I got a version that I'm keeping the little bulleted number 
point things on. So there's another version of the seal. If you go up through here, she might be here as well. No? What's going on? Do anything with the gong. Come on, I know I didn't beat her, I didn't put the wind potion on her or anything. What is this? Somebody has come here to die. Seriously. Not the wisest move, buddy. Well, crap, now I'm confused. over there. Just once again, I'm using my eagle eye, I guess. Huh. Oh, I'm not convinced. Tara is not dead. Go talk to the Windmaster guy and he'll tell us. He'd be like... <laughs> He'd be like that little kid in the ring. You let her out of the well? Why? I, I, I'm sorry. I don't really know. I'm terrible with quotes. So. I like to get the essence of things. I don't really... You know, the first time I saw The Ring, I uh, I had to go do something halfway through the movie. Uh, so I, And I wound up leaving right around the time that uh, they opened up the well. And I just, like... It was such a, so much of a better movie just leaving off at that point. The rest of it, like, with the, oh, it's not over, now it's over, no, it's not actually over, the three endings, it kind of ruined it for me. Oh, hey, it's Chuck Norris again. Was there something else you wanted before you destroy Tara? Uh, I'm not going to ask him to heal our wounds. Because I remember that before. That was, uh, so she's not dead. I think he'd know if she was dead. Rest. Much less of a time-consuming, awkward animation. Uh, this is almost Blizzard-like, just spamming mouse clicks. If it just pulled away more and you could like walk further, or if it wasn't so awkward to like try to scroll the screen. It's not as awkward as it is when I'm playing Heroes of Might and Magic, though, because it's actually a Windows game, so it's in, when it's in that tiny window, it's hard to find that sweet spot where it'll scroll instead of just the mouse um, going the wrong way. And there I just brought the mouse up on... You teleported into a rock. You die. Oh. Anyway. See, there she is again. I'm overly shit. I'm pleased to meet you, and I'll be even more pleased when I take your paltry life. Um, you are nothing but a disgusting old hag. Old? Then I will s Oh! Woo! Oh man, just about blew out my voice there. You ever had that when you're like trying to be death metal and stuff, and then you're just like, you totally like, have that feeling in your throat, you're like, oh, shouldn't have done that. Then I will steal your youth to restore my beauty. Alright. Whoa, is there like two of them this time? There's like two of them. Uh, let's see, I don't think he can cast anything. You know, all that great turn undead, I don't think that'll do anything. I should have just... Oh, no! Fireball! That's not fair. That's like to have damn near killed somebody. Watch what you're doing. Tara's laughter echoes emptily as she disappears. Uh, so let's cast... Can't cast anything. 
that's like a D and D thing. If you get hit, you can't like uh, cast that turn or whatever. I think I know it used to be, and we should have had our spells up. Okay, so we're after a good empty. Well, let's go rest again. I guess uh, you have to. I think you have to beat her. Oh, come on! You have to beat her three times. So the what the pathing. Pathing for the well. Oh, come on, you can't go that way. God damn it! Seriously, they can't figure it out. I guess I exceeded their maximum pathing points or something. Oh, she runs into a wall. I should have known better than to put the half giant in the lead. It's like maybe if I go through this room. No, it's a cell. It doesn't go anywhere. It's made for putting prisoners in. You don't turn down a cul-de-sac thinking it's a through street. That's like you go down a street that's labeled circle, thinking it's going to be a through, through street. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just rest and save, because if it got harder that time, and that was pretty tough, then... Might cast, uh, <clears throat> might cast haste right before I go in there. Then, oh yeah, then we'll be ready for that MF. That MFF. <laughs> Mofo forever. Yeah. I don't know. Blip. Not, I'm not really that conversant with all these newfangled internet age abbreviations and other than raffle and noob yeah if, if they don't use it in WoW usually you don't go around talking about BFFs and all that stuff in WoW so we've got haste let's drop it on ourselves I don't know if that'll work hope so Fools! Why do you insist on disturbing me? Now you will feel the heat of my anger. I'm guessing we're gonna get a fire or fireball dropped on us. Yeah, yep, yep. So the um the haste didn't work for everybody. And her laughter echoes emptily. Well that was the third time we beat her, so we should be able to use the wind potion. Let's see. There's the pith extract, so I guess I might have already done the thing. What does this do? Nothing, apparently, at the moment. Got a necklace. Um, yeah, I guess I missed the opportunity back with the whole gold necklace thing to throw in a hole. Necklace go down the hole. Necklace go down the hole. So what she was mad about when we first stepped in there is that we have Nagi's talisman on there. If you remember the journal, they basically fought like cats and dogs. What am I looking for here? I'm looking for the wind potion. Should have a wind potion. Nothing here looks like a potion. Banana? No, that's not the wind potion. Got a bow. I never equipped. I don't know why not. Throw that on him, even though he doesn't have any arrows. It's, it's all good. That's a uh, potion there. Some grapes, a lemon, terra bloom. That's not quite a potion. If you made a potion out of it, I don't think it'd be too nice. I don't think it'd be the nicest potion ever. I don't seem to have a potion. Grapes. Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I love it when everything goes right. Yeah, see the pathing seems a little better now that we have a more intelligent leader. <laughs> no sooner said. Yeah, if you wanna if you wanna use the pathing, you better go in a straight line. Otherwise they're gonna get pretty confused, walk into a wall and sit there. So, yeah, as far as my comment about interacting with the environment, I guess that's one of the nice things about a 
modern game like Oblivion with a Havoc engine or what have you. It has some ability to uh, interact with the environment. Not everything, it depends on them making it an object that yeah. Uh, how can I destroy Tara? You must fight Tara in. The, uh, let's let's put on the blaze. You must fight Tara in the East Tower where she resides. Once she has struck down and she disappears, use the wind potion to scatter her remains out the window. You must do this quickly though before she has time to reappear. Uh, can you give me any more help? No, he's already weakened. We already heard him say that. Uh, wind potion, wind potion, wind potion. But I don't know, it's the wind potion. Oh, okay, well, there's no wind potion in this room, is there? That's a candle, which you can turn on and off, apparently. Good thing you can do that. Oh, and you can make the bed and then make the bed. Uh, we made the bed for you, man. I hope you're happy. But, um, wind potion. Just looked in my inventory. I didn't have a wind potion. Okay. Do it again. This makes for good viewing, doesn't it? This is a guava. A key. We've tried drinking that. I don't know. Got a wind ring. Maybe maybe my inventory was full. It just fell on the ground. Got another horn. Hey, this looks... Like, oh, that's, there's a wind potion. Okay. Alright, so let's try this again. Okay. Let's save one more time. Guess you have to ask yourself. How many times do you have to beat this lady? Lady of the Eternal Night. Vampire, the oldest profession. <laughs> I guess. Uh, you thought it was a streetwalker? No, it's the Nightwalker. Not the Texas Ranger. Anyway. Well, this is getting to be a longer... LP than I expected. I thought this would be rather quick to just beat this. Anytime you're beating a woman in an RPG, it should go quickly, right? Uh, okay, well, we know where the wind potion is now. Maybe I didn't have it before I just had to ask. I don't know why it is. Sometimes when it, you again, you will learn not to disturb me. Sometimes you just can't find stuff in your inventory. I don't know. So she laughs, disappears. Let's see if we can. I'm supposed to like use the wind potion on her body though. So hold on. Uh, this turns on their automatic mode or whatever. So. A great wind rushes through the room with a roar, drowning Tara's screams as her body is hopelessly dispersed. Ah, I noticed they didn't say empty screams. Ha! Gotcha. Only had to beat her four times. It was only one extra time, I think. And I fail at inventory management once again. What is that, the fourth, fifth time for this LP? Proves this side. AC by one reduces damage from attacks by two. Might be able to use that. Uh, yeah, permanent effect. Yeah, baby. That's right. What's this? Oh, the uh, Tynan's heart. So now we have uh, Tynan's heart and um, guava. Surely, if we give them a guava, they won't know the difference between a heart and a guava. This is a lemon. Looks a lot like the heart. Man, I don't have any system for who carries what, so I'm pretty sure I picked up that other heart, didn't I? Yeah, Tristram heart. Right. Throw that right over here. And keep those together. Along with the banana. Uh here's your heart back, man. Uh, I kinda kept it next to this banana. It got a little bit of stuff on it. Hope you don't mind. Hope you don't mind, I got banana on your soul. Sorry. God, this has got to be the stupidest LP ever. Oh, man. I don't know what to say about that.
kind of hard. You run out of things to say when things don't go the way you expect and you wind up beating the same boss four times, especially when it's not particularly uh, an involved fight. It's just sort of, you're like, die, and you hit her, like, and then she's like, okay, I'm dead. That's the thing about fighting with this, like, hybrid party, is that every fight is the same. Hit them with a stick or a sword. It doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, this video's gotten a bit long, I guess, uh, so it'll probably be split in two, as is fairly usual. But uh, at this point, I guess I'll have to say, this is Bezlinir signing out of another episode of Dark Sun Shattered Lands. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time, viewer.